is a quick little bonus video. You guys hopefully watched the previous video that I just uh, posted at the same time I'm posting this video on getting your latitude, longitude, and your formatted address of your location using Google's API. And as I stated in that video, if you have a device with uh, GPS, we'll be using that. If you're on a desktop such as mine that I don't have a GPS or any other type of location device, it's going to go based on where you're connecting through based on your ISP, uh, their location of the little substation. Um, but you may have noticed in that tutorial that when I got my latitude and longitude that it says that I'm in Colorado Springs. And those of you who have maybe been watching my videos for a long time go, hey, Chris, you don't live in Colorado Springs, although I do vacation there quite often. I live down in Florida, um, but I faked my location there. And how do I go about doing that? Well, there's different ways of doing it, but here in Google Chrome, if you hit F12 on any page, it will bring up your um, console log, your little developer tool down here. And as you can see, when I did that, my whole screen changed, not just down there. And the reason for that is because I have had emulator icon clicked here that looks like a cell phone or a tablet and that changes your screen and if we go back up to the device here you can see you can choose a model of phone or tablet they have a lot listed here so if you want to see how it would display on a different device you can see that it gives you the size of the screen and a bunch of other stuff but also underneath this emulation options you have sensor and I can check this emulate geolocation coordinates and you can put in some GPS coordinates there, latitude and longitude, and the browser will then tell any application that's asking for your location that that's your location. So I can change these. Let's change this to five and see if that changes anything up here. Let's change this to a five as well. There we go. Unnamed road in Colorado. So I'm probably out in some field somewhere. Uh, let's go ahead and change it to, oh, there we go. I just removed the number and let's get another address there in Colorado and, and Pueblo. So you can fake your, your GPS location or your coordinates, your geolocation uh, by using this little emulator and going to sensors as well as seeing how your application will display on different devices and different screen sizes. This is very useful. You're emulating the touch screen. As you can see, instead of a mouse cursor, I got, you know, what the uh, uh, finger would look like on there and I can drag the screen just like I would on a mobile device. So many uses, this little developer tool down here that's built into Chrome, again hit F12, uh, hit the little icon that looks like a cell phone and under emulation go to sensors and you can change the geolocation there. Just a little bonus tip there on, you know, testing stuff out and uh, just seeing how stuff works. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial, this little bonus video. I hope you enjoy all my videos. If you do, like, subscribe, share, and um, also, as always, I hope that you visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I hope that you have a great day. Okay, this is an introduction to filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter Ember, and my wife Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day, as well as by night. We work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's all right. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.